Hello and how are you now? So today we're going to look at another one of the Tosca obstacle courses. In the browser, we'll just open up Internet Explorer. I already have it pasted in here. It's this one here. It's called IDs and not everything. Basically says automate a test step that will click on this button over here. Okay? And then we see a good job. You solve this automation problem. So if we go in here into Tosca Commander, right click on modules and say scan, we can see the agent is starting. It's probably doing some license checking in the background as well, and it is starting X scan. Now it gives you a window where you can select the application. As you can see, it's the first one. We leave it as HTML. We click on scan. We can click on select on screen and condensed view and we want to click on this one here as you can see it uses control properties so we'll have a look at that in a second okay when we look at this we see it is not recognized and we can even see an ID here it says do not use ID so let's uncheck that and click on inner HTML you can now see that the control is fully recognized we'll leave it temporarily as IDs are not everything we we'll click on close and click on save. We can now drag this into a test case, put an X on it. We already have it open. There it is. Let's see if it runs. F6. And it runs successfully. Great. I haven't actually done any verifications, but that's okay. We can close that window. So now that we have the basics up and running, let's talk about some best practice. The test has a name, and it is 22505. IDs are not everything. So why don't we give a maybe a folder? 22505 identifiers. Are not everything. And we can drag that in there, okay? And while it's in here, we can shorten that a little bit as well. 2505. Give me some comments. If you'd like to see it done differently, I'd like to uh, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say on that. This is the test case here. Let's drag it into the obstacle folder. What are we going to call it? How about 22505? Identifiers. Now it doesn't look great like that, does it? It's just a piece of, it's just a test step that clicks on a button. So maybe if we set the work state from planned to in work, and in here we create a few folders using control NF. Preconditions, process. post conditions. In here we can do the open URL. We give the path. In the process we'll take our little piece of code. The name isn't very useful. So let's say click on the correct button. And then post conditions we go close browser what's the name of the browser that's the name of the browser Tricentis obstacle course give it a little star okay set changes for some reason and open URL and the test configuration we need to set that too so let's just set it so that it says browser browser. What should it be? That's right, Internet Explorer, no spaces. Let's try this closed browser, see if it actually works. Do an F6 on that. Excellent. Close the browser. 
Let's see if open URL is working too. Yep, that worked. It opened the browser. What about clicking on the button? Do an F6. Great. Clicks on the button too. But what about verifications? Right now you've only clicked on the button. You haven't actually verified anything. So what I suggest you do is go back to your folder click on scan, scan application. I hope you can hear the machine in the background humming away. This is the window I want. Scan that. Select on screen. Make it small. This is the button I want. Hit me with the next riddle. Try to send this obstacle course. Let's just close that. So we save it. And there it is there. Let's rename that to something nice. Try to send this obstacle course. Verify. Verify success. Okay. Then we can drag that now into our test folder. Into our process. And now that we have visible is equal to true and enable is equal to true. We just set that to verify. Okay. Let's just run that. Happy days. The verification was successful. Now, let's run it from the top. Looks good. And we verified that we're there.